Hi, I'm William Tenholder. I've been playing for more than 50 years, actually more than 55. You know, I hit the books when I was seven years old. I've won thousands of games since then. Yeah, I was already beating my father when I was about 10, 11. And, uh, <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's such a great game. And, uh, yeah, my idol was always, you know, Bobby Fisher and, and Spassky, those matches. But here is a good master game. I would call it master class, and I'm going to take you through it uh, because I believe in going quickly for the master people. So we're, we're not going to take too much time. We all understand uh, a pose, the queen pawn, is normal, right? So now we've got a nice little opening with the two knights, two pawns, and uh, now we're setting up for the four knights game. And uh, this is a very normal and perfect opening for both sides. Um, I do what I usually do, which is I attack as soon as I can. Attack, attack. And uh, so they said, bring it on. And uh, I said, well, I'm going to defend a little bit. Uh, you know, the A to A pawn to A3, is a, it's a great move at this point in the game, right? We all have to do that. And uh, so they said, well, uh, I'm going to kick your bishop out. And so I said, okay, that's fair. And, uh, well, we're going to kick your bishop out one more step. <laughs> and I was prepared for that. I said, no problem. I'm, I'm ready for that. Bring it on. And so we got a real nice clash going here. And they decide to actually take it one step further. Attack my bishop with their bishop. I said, well, you'll suffer the consequences. I'm going to take your bishop. Uh, I don't mind if your queen comes up. I'll just attack your queen. And the queen has to move back. There's... No option there. And I said, well, now here's my queen. What are you going to do about that? And so they said, well, I'm going to kick your knight out. I said, that's fine. <clears throat> that was my plan <laughs> all along. So now they bring the knight out to the side of the board. I would never recommend this move. This is totally futile. And I'm just going to say, you know what? Your knight's going nowhere. And they knew it. So they just had to bring their knight back. It was going nowhere. Okay, so now I'm ready to attack with my knight. Ah, the knight comes back. Look at that, three moves for the knight. It's wasted tempos. I'm already ahead. <clears throat> I take with the pawn. Uh, they want to further their attack. Of course, I'm going to exchange. And I'm not letting them into my territory. Not one little bit. Wow. Look at that. As fast as that, their queen is toast. They take my queen. Now I have control of the d-file. They said, okay, we'll castle. And I said, fine, I'll develop. Uh, you know, it's a battle. It's a, definitely a battle. You know, we're just like totally wiping out each other's pieces, which was my plan, right? He's a strong player. And if I have a chance to wipe out their pieces, I will. So here we go. Get the rooks going. You have to connect your rooks. And this is the plan at this point, right? Um, no matter what, you have to get the rooks uh, going. And so you'll see how this works. I find a good place for my rook. Um, they decide not to take the pawn because then I could take their pawn, etc. They'd have like a triple pawn. They don't want that. They want their pawns connected. So 
that was a great move um, for my rook. Now my rooks are doubled. <clears throat> and uh, they don't like that. They bring out the pawn. And so I simply respond by my rooks are still doubled and you're still in trouble. So they move over, no problem, I'll just take your pawn. If you take my rook, no problem. Not worried about that, because I have my bishop. Take with the bishop, not not the king, because if you take with the king, then you're kind of, you know, stuck with, you know, their rook coming out for free on the d-file. We don't want that. So, right now I have an attack on their pawn structure and they decide to defend that which is normal uh, but now I can attack and I have multiple attack options now because I have a passed pawn now their bishop move to d7 is a mistake and I'll show you why um, they can't do much about this um, and you'll see that they have to move their bishop or it will be taken. And then I took the opportunity before the door closes. Get the bishop. You have to be brave. Get the bishop into that um, h5 spot before they move a pawn up and lock you out. Now, this solidifies the victory. I'll go through it as quick as I can. Now, it's a simple... Yeah. It's as simple as that. Rook takes rook. Pawn takes rook. And there's no way to stop the pawn from becoming a queen. This is the equivalent in chess of checkmate. I hope you enjoyed this game. It was full of great tips and tricks and wow. I, I just played it and I posted it same day. I love it. Have a great night. Enjoy your chess.